On this channel, we've talked about non-German Waffen SS formations a lot. Today, we're going to discuss a notorious German Waffen SS division that was comprised of ethnic Germans from Yugoslavia. The division became known as the 7th SS of Volunteer Mountain Division Prince Eugen. The unit was involved in different atrocities against the local population and therefore got a reputation of ruthlessness and cruelty. Today more on the SS Prince Eugen. Germans did not only live inside the borders of the Third Reich when Hitler ascended to power. Many Germans lived outside Germany. These ethnic Germans were known as Volksdeutsche. They lived outside the borders of Hitler's Reich, contrary to those who lived inside it and were known as Reichsdeutsche. The country in the Balkan had the biggest German minority was Yugoslavia. An estimated 540,000 ethnic Germans lived there during the interwar years especially in the areas that were part of the Habsburg Empire, of which its emperors encouraged the German population to settle in the Danubian regions. After the Ottomans had retreated, much of these regions were left empty. Three large migrant waves occurred during the 18th century. Most of these migrants were farmers, craftsmen, factory owners or merchants. Now, Before World War II, most of them lived in the north of Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia was a kingdom that was established after the First World War and was initially known as the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes. And many ethnic Germans became attracted to Hitler's ideas. Also because the Kingdom of Yugoslavia was plagued by economic hardships and political instability. On the 6th of April 1941, the Axis powers led by Germany invaded the Kingdom of Yugoslavia and completed the conquest within 12 days. During the Nazi occupation of Yugoslavia, many local Germans served the German authorities in various ways, sometimes exceeding in barbarity the regular Wehrmacht German army. About 80,000 served in the German army, while 25,000 of these joined the Waffen-SS division called Prince Eugen, formed by local Germans to fight the partisans. Now, Many ethnic Germans that would join the SS Prince Eugen came from the Banat, a region that was dominated by Serbs but had significant German, Hungarian and Romanian minorities. After the Axis takeover, the Yugoslav Banat got a special occupation regime that was led by the local German minority. And this solved the problem of who Hungary or Romania could occupy the region. Also, the Germans were interested in the region because of the natural resources. One activity for which many Volksdeutsche were particularly well suited was counterinsurgency in their own homeland since they knew the terrain. It was declared a mountain division because it was designed to the Balkans as an anti-partisan mountain division. And already in April 41, the SS began recruiting volunteers for the SS division Das Reich. A year later, the 7th Volunteer SS Division Prince Eugen was formed. It was named after the Habsburg ruler Prince Eugene of Savoy that lived around the year 1700. Himmler appointed the Transylvanian Arthur Plebs as commander of the new division. Now it was designated to be a volunteer division, but soon the rush of volunteers tapered off. And thus, in August 1941, the SS court in Belgrade decided to impose conscription on all Volksdeutsche living in the Banat. It was actually the first of its kind. Volksdeutsche that could be recruited between the age of 17 and 30. By the end of 1943, more than 20,000 ethnic Germans served in the SS Prince Eugen. Most of them came from the Serbia Banat, but also Germans that came from Romania or Croatia served in the unit. The unit was used in various parts of Yugoslavia and became known for its brutality. In October 1942, the unit was moved from the Banat to occupied Serbia. Till early 1943, they were stationed there and then they were replaced by Bulgarian forces. The Prince Eugen Division was transferred to Croatia for the impending Operation Weiss against the partisans, known as a fourth enemy offensive in partisan parlance. Germans, Italians, Croatians and Chetniks launched an offensive against partisan controlled areas. Also the Croatian 369th Infantry Division, the first Croatian Legionnaire Division, participated in this operation, which lasted from mid-January till mid-March 1943 and inflicted severe losses on the partisans and pushed them southwards onto the left bank of the Nertva River. 
it did not put the partisans out of action. Later, the SS Prince Eugen participated in the 5th enemy offensive, known as Case Black, from mid-May till mid-June 1943. They took part in further anti-partisan operations. Then, in September 1943, Italy surrendered. The Italian territories of Yugoslavia were taken over by the Germans, who disarmed most of the Italian troops. On the orders of German Field Marshal Keitel, three Italian generals and 47 Italian officers were executed by the SS Prinz Eugen after they had been court-martialed. And did you know that in April 1944, Ustasha ministers complained to the German authorities about the ruthless punitive actions of the SS Prinz Eugen in the Dalmatia region, where also many Croatians lived. The men of the Prince Eugen division compiled a record of grisly acts, massacres, torture, and raising villages. From a higher up, commanding officers in Serbia, Franz Burma issued the following order modeled on a directive from high command. In the future, for every fallen German soldier, 100, and for every wounded soldier, 50 prisoners or hostages are to be shot. For this purpose, as many communists and Jews, as well as nationally or democratically camouflaged rebellious elements, from every deployment side are to be captured as may be guarded without endangering our fighting capacity. And being part of a German unit also meant that your family was exempted from the reprisals that were carried out by the Axis forces in occupied Yugoslavia. I mean, remember, over half a million Germans lived in Yugoslavia. One of the notorious massacres that was carried out by the SS Prince Eugen was the massacre of Otok that occurred near Split in March 1944, where the SS Prince Eugen men, assisted by Croatian forces, slaughtered hundreds of men, women and children. In a post-war trial, the following statement was read. The victims were shot, slaughtered and tortured or burned to death in burning houses. Where a victim was found, not in his house, but on the road or in the fields some distance away, he was murdered and burned there. Infants with their mothers, pregnant women and frail old people were also murdered. In short, every civilian met with by these troops in these villages was murdered. In many cases, whole families who, not expecting such treatment or lacking the time for escape, had remained quietly in their homes were annihilated and murdered. Whole families were thrown into burning houses in many cases and thus burnt. Unsurprisingly, the men of the SS Prince Eugen wore German Waffen SS uniforms and had German weaponry. They had this symbol and there was also a Kaufband. The division's emblem was an Odal rune, which originally meant inherited property and was used by the Nazis in connection with their blood and soil theories. What I find interesting is the person on the left regarding his footwear. I think this is a rare occasion of a German World War II military man wearing patties. Most of the time, the Germans wore leather boots or issued later ankle boots with low gaiters. On this photo, you see they have French tanks, the SOM UA S35 and the Hotchkiss H39. And I read they used Czech machine guns. Otto Kuhn was the commander of the unit from January 44 till January 45 and after the war founded the HIAG with its main objective to achieve rehabilitation for the Waffen SS. If you think that the theory of the clean Wehrmacht, known as the clean Wehrmacht myth, is outrageous, this guy advocated a clean Waffen SS myth meaning he wanted to rehabilitate the Waffen SS. Late 1944, the Yugoslav partisans assisted with the Red Army pushed out the German armies from Yugoslavia. From that moment, massacres of ethnic Germans by the partisans occurred. Between 200,000 and a quarter of a million Germans were evacuated in time. Those who didn't get away were either murdered or put in camps that were set up later. Because around 200,000 German civilians and 70,000 German POWs came under Tito's authority. Around 8,000 Germans that were either in mixed marriages or had assisted the partisans were not interned or released shortly after. How many ethnic Germans were slaughtered by the partisans in Yugoslavia at the end and after the Second World War is hard to say. I read different estimates ranging from 50,000 to 200,000. The surviving members of the SS Prince Eugen that fell in the hands of the partisans mostly Volksdeutsche, 
and also some Croats, they were all slaughtered by the partisans. And I read that in 2010, a mass grave of 2000 murdered Prince Eugen Division soldiers was found in Slovenia. Thanks to my patrons, you see their names on the screen right now, and a special thanks to Nick Terranova, Rainy Bechtel, Thomas Abiega, Damian Wallace, Connor, Philip Jordan, Marcus Kaas, Nick Terranova, Haley, Mark Little Hill, Jan Jozinkiewicz, Joan, Justin Tabell, Tanya Dixie, Henry Clarkson, Rob Park, Andrea Martic, Susanna Di Bella, John Peach, Fabrizio, Wayback History, Fernando Lopez Ojeda, Mike West, and Franz. Now, the Germans from Yugoslavia were not the only ones that were expelled. Also Germans from Poland and Czechoslovakia were expelled. And I made a video on that, you can find it right here. If you want to learn about the German Viking division, which had many Dutch Waffen SS men serving in it, click here. Thank you for watching and see you later.